pretty strong out here tonight, I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the bantamweight division at 54 kilograms. Please welcome to the ring, representing Ukraine, Artemis Ivan Ilenitsky. Look at this 25-year-old uh, orthodox bantamweight boxer. It's his second season. He boxed for the Mumbai team last year. He won his last fight against the uh, German Eagles, but he was the one and only Ukrainian to lose to McGoldrick when the British Lionhearts went and fought in Ukraine back in January. It was a great display from Sean McGoldrick, but this fella, Ilnitsky, is very strong. Again, typical pro, if you like, on his front foot, good head movement, works the body. He's, he's short, but he's very strong indeed. This will be a hard fight for Salvi. Ladies and gentlemen, if British Lionhearts are wins this evening, this contest needs a home win. Please welcome, representing British Lionhearts, Andrew Selby! Well, the big statistic against Andrew Selby's name, he's had four fights, four home matches, and he's undefeated. Happy to box Southpaw, happy to box Orthodox. Richie, he'll need all of those skills tonight. Yeah, he will, but he's a very skillful boxer indeed. And he can box, like you said, as an orthodox boxer or southpaw. He switches very naturally. I think he's probably the most talented boxer we have in the GB squad. And um, over five rounds, he's got it together as well. So, yeah, he's a, he's a talented boy, this fella. Ladies and gentlemen, this is five three-minute rounds of boxing in the bantamweight division at 54 kilograms. Introducing to you, firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue colored shorts trimmed with yellow. Tonight is his sixth contest in the WSB. He comes to the ring this evening as a Ukraine national silver medalist representing Ukraine Ottomans Ivan Ilinitsky. <laughs> and opposing him, boxing out of the red corner wearing the red colored shorts trimmed with white. His perfect unblemished record in the WSB is four contests, four wins. He comes to the ring this evening, his achievements being 2011 European champion, 2011 world silver medalist, and he was a 2012 London Olympian, hailing from Wales, representing British Lionheart, Andy Selby. Referee in charge of the action is Mr. Roland Juhas from Hungary, five three-minute rounds. Okay, gentlemen, keep your heads up, keep your punches up. So here we go, Andrew Selby must win this bout for the British Lionhearts. Ilnitsky has got more experience than Selby, who is looking for his fifth win at home here and I have to say Richie his wins against Toitov against Kazakhstan and Conlon against the USA knockouts were most impressive if he can demonstrate that kind of form and confidence tonight he should get the better of the Ukrainian right now well he should but he's up against a, a, a strong fellow and all these Ukrainians are very good over five rounds so we've seen Ilnitsky before he hasn't got the skill or the talent of Andrew Salby but you know, he will have the engine, most certainly, over the 5-3, so he will be dangerous. And Andrew has got a box to his, to his potential, and if he does that, then he should win. And for Selby, for me, not too much too soon. I watched him win the European Championship gold in 2011, and there he just stayed calm. Not too much showboating, just a little more skillful boxing is what I'd like to see, Richie. Yeah, I mean, you showed there, he got caught with a shot, so he does the old alley shuffle and then puts in that combination. But signs there from Ilnitsky, what he's trying to do, he's trying to get close up to Salby to land the big shot. He knows he can't outbox Salby, so he's got to get up close, try and close that gap down and land the one single punch that maybe uh, put, put Salby down. That's what he's trying to do with the Ukraine.
Nice and tight with the guard, the Ukrainian in the blue shorts. A lot of those punches just going into the gloves from uh, Selby. But he's got to be quick on the counter, Selby, when the Ukrainian starts to come forwards. If, if Selby uh, boxes at range and keeps this, this man at distance, there's only one winner. But you're in against a very strong man who has got a good guard, who's prepared to take shots. He's been outworked at the moment, Ilnitsky, but like I said, he's looking for just, just a single shot here and there. It's still dangerous, and remember, it's a five-round contest, not a three, so he will fancy his chance. Minute left on the clock in the first round. Right, see a few more punches to the body as well from Selby, try and open up that guard. Yeah, blistering hand speed there from Selby. A couple of shots did get through downstairs. The problem for Selby, Nick, in this contest is going to be concentration. He's probably boxed far better opponents in terms of, of skill. But this guy is going to be tough, he's going to be strong, and look, he's trying to land that shot. So, Salvi must concentrate, got all the skills. Yeah, it's fantastic, but you've got to stay focused. And there's no question that Ilnitsky fancies his chances. Well, I think one thing's for sure, though, Nick, at the end of this round, Selby will have won this round, because if they give this to Elnitsky, I'll eat me at, as they say. <laughs> Good shot there. Stop. Lovely, finishing right hand from... Left hand, I should say. Left hook from Selby, right on the bell, just to let those judges know that he's in control. Yeah, Lee pulling in. Yeah, there you go. So Selby's won. Won the round there from every judge, and quite rightly so. Lee Pullen will be saying to him, though, listen, you must concentrate, forget all the showboating, you're totally outboxing this fella, as we can see here. But El Elnitsky, he's looking for that single shot, wild swings look, so he's dangerous, and he catches Selby there with that shot, brings... Then Selby does the old alley shuffle, but it shows that he's dangerous. The skills are with Selby, but this fella's looking for that, that one punch. Corners, 10 seconds. Well, I think you said it, Richie. He's got to Second keep the down. concentration here. Andrew Selby. On paper, the better two. boxer. After the first round, the better boxer. But he's just got to be careful that he doesn't get caught, which you could say, by a lucky punch from the Ukrainian. Well, that's what the Ukraines will be looking for. It is one single lucky shot. There it is there, look, trying to land a wild swing. And then also target Salby and trying to be saying to him, you must get this fella onto the ropes. You must restrict his movement. Ropes will get him in the corners and then go to work, maybe downstairs or try and that, land that right hand over the top. Stay in the centre of the ring and Salby's in control. Well, there is no question that even just a couple of minutes into the second go, round. Go, go. <laughs> oh, wrestled to the ground, Andrew Selby by the Ukrainian. Yeah, the, listen, the referee should have been a little bit stronger there, never mind just telling him about you shouldn't be shooting, you shouldn't be shoving your, your opponent to the ground like that. I've seen warnings being given for that. That wasn't very good referee, he should have been a little bit more sterner and says, hey, pack that in. Just under two minutes in the second round. Selby has won the first for the British Lionhearts in the red corner and red shorts. But uh, tough competitor here, Ilnitsky. And uh, this is what at Selby must avoid. He's getting caught in that corner because Ilnitsky puts in some good blows. So Selby. Jordan. He's been a bit foolish here, putting the, look, his hands behind his back, he's trying to show that he has got the skills. We know you can avoid punches, Andrew, but let's box this fella. Box him at distance, totally outclass the kid. You don't need to stand and trade with him. And he's taken a few big hits, Selby. Oh, that was lovely, though, from Selby. <laughs> he's got the way he just moved out of the way there. Beautiful skill. This is the tactic that we'd like to see. 
from the Welsh bantamweight, Andrew Selby, working his way around that ring. He's covered every inch of the canvas in these first two rounds, and let's keep it that way. The moment that he gets caught in the corner, the troubles begin, and we start to hold our breaths. Yeah, I'll tell you, Nick, when, when, when he's in the gym, this, this guy, Andrew Selby, there's been times when every coach who's observing and watching, the draw, the, the jewels have dropped. He's done skills which have been unbelievable. But at times then, he frustrates you a little bit. He'll do things, he'll switch off concentration-wise, and that's probably his only problem. But again, that was beautiful skill from Selby. And a fantastic left hook from Selby there. That shook the Ukrainian. But again, another good combination. <laughs> class, sheer class from Selby, that was. Oh, he might have hurt his arm Stop. there, Selby. Stop. Stop. He might have been his shoulder there after that shot, Selby. Absolutely, and Ooh. this would be an absolute nightmare if Selby is in trouble here. You can see him putting the hand. That was right at the end of the round. Two judges have gone for Selby, quite rightly so, I thought he won the round. But the right at the end of the round, he did something to his arm. And again, not very strong refereeing. He was hit after the bell. The referee just says, go back to your corner. He should have warned the Ukrainian a little bit hard, a little bit harder there at the end of the round. Some lovely skills from Selby. Switching to the body. That was the shot. The right hand, whether it's the hand, whether Connors, it's the elbow. Ten seconds. But here, then look, the bell's already gone. Seconds out. After. Please. Well, is there an issue with the right round shoulder of Andrew three. Selby as we go into the third round? He's two up. Take this one, and the pressure is off. Not only Andrew Selby, but also the British Lionhearts, who are trailing 2-0 to the Ukrainian Ottomans here. We need this win from Selby. Good shot. He seems to be okay with that right shoulder. But one thing's for sure, Ilnitsky is just going to keep coming, Nick. We know how fit these guys are. That was a lovely body shot there from Selby, left up to the body, and he knows it. Look, <laughs> showboating again. Got a lot of skill. That's, this is where he's got to move now. Get out of the corner. It's almost as if the Ukrainian is prepared to wait for his opportunities, take the punches to slowly manoeuvre Selby into that corner. He knows he's going to be looking for a big punch and a TKO here. Yeah. Selby looking good to make this three from three. They're not looking for a points win here from Ilnitsky. They'll be saying to him, listen, you will get opportunities to land that big shot. Take your time, keep the hands high. Try and move the head as you're coming forward and whip the shot over the top. And there was one there, look. So that's what they'll be saying to their man. Another good left hook body shot from Selby. And that enables him to move his way so gracefully out of that corner. No indications of an injury to the shoulder, certainly in this third round. Yeah, very skillful indeed, Selby. Sometimes we don't really know whether he is a natural orthodox boxer or southpaw. He, he boxes so well out of both stances. And I think he does it at times, he doesn't even realise he's doing it. Does it so naturally. Blistering hand speed again from Selby. The Ukrainians in the crowd are beating their drums and roaring. Ilnitsky. This would be the biggest upset on the card, no question. But uh, Selby, lovely body shot again there to stop the attack of Ilnitsky. Movement is the key here, Nick, for, for Selby. Got to keep on the move, hit and move. This fellow has got very slow feet, you see. His feet are very flat. He struggles with the movements of Selby. Selby can't afford to hold his feet and trade, just hit and move. Look, Ilnitsky, look, there's a clear 
example there. He just can't cope with the movement from Salvi. Beautiful. Stop. There's the bell, the end of the third. Surely Salvi goes three up. <laughs> leaving uh, the Ukrainian needing a big punch to try and stop the fight with a TKO. All judges agreeing this time. In the ten-point must-score system, Andrew Selby takes the first three rounds comfortably. But now he needs to be possibly even more careful than before, Richie. Yeah, he must stay focused now. There was a, a great shot with the right hand, right hand lead. But it was the movement, he actually threw the shot on the move, and that's why Ilnitsky just cannot cope with the movement. He's trying so hard to land the shots, but Selby's gone. If Selby holds his feet, then he's, he has problems. But even body shots as well from Selby. It's just when he gets into those corners where he's a little bit more vulnerable. Corners, he's just got to keep it going. Seconds. seconds out. So we have it from Richie Woodall, former super middleweight four. world champion. Let's keep the same going, please, Andrew Selby, because the Lionhearts need this win. And then we'll turn to our light heavyweight and heavyweight boxers to try and take the match. But for now, Selby, nice and composed in this fourth round. Again, switching stance with such natural ability. Yeah, and he's come out with his hands a little bit higher here, Selby, so that's good corner work from Lee Pollard in that corner. He's, he's told him to stay focused. Keep the hands nice and high. So it's a good start to the round from Selby. He's actually keeping his opponent on that back foot. That's better from Selby. <laughs> Great support by, from the Ukraines here. Brought the drums. Beating away and uh, yeah, very impressed with their support. Oh, but Selby's got the rhythm, Richie here. Working his way out of that ring nicely. Yeah, very skillful indeed. Just got to watch when he switches stance. Nick, he's got to switch going back rather than walking forward. If he walks forward when he switches like that, look, nearly got caught there with a the shot. That was a good shot for Wolnitsky. Selby's so cocky, but oh. Well, look at the combination that went in there. But he is taking a lot of risks here, Andrew Selby. Really starting to frustrate Wolnitsky here. And the Ilnitsky. You can't help but admire his skills, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Very skillful indeed, talented man, Andrew Selby. <laughs> Undefeated in four, Andrew Selby. Stop, stop. Four home matches. Watch your head. In weeks two, four, six and eight. Looking good for five here. Both boxers now start to tire just a little, with 30 seconds left just under on the clock in this fourth round. Yeah, you just Rick, can't. Rick, stop, stop! I mean, look at watch this. Well, never mind, ahead. watch the head. What about the punching as you're talking, ref? A couple of shots to finish the fourth round here from Andrew Selby. Oh, but a nice counter Stop. punch from the Ukrainian. Surely that's 4 0 for oh. Selby. Yeah, another good display from Selby there. It's cool so occasionally, but right. hey, I mean, this is top class boxing, isn't it? Look, all the judges have gone for Andrew Selby. Now, so he's just got to see it out now, Nick, in this last round. But he boxes very sensibly here, as Andrew Selby, keeping it at range, keeping his hands nice and high, but also he can do a touch of the showboating. Here we go. <laughs> but, hey, got caught with a shot there, so he's got to watch what he's doing. Really has. And the, this is the referee. The referee's talking, and the, the, his opponent is still punching. That is awful refereeing. Terrible. Corners, 10 seconds. 
Lee Pullen really firm with the instructions Second in the Lionheart's corner for Andrew Selby. Do for not get caught final round. by a rogue punch, which uh, Ilnitsky in the blue for the Ukraine knows is his only chance now. Again, wants to show the opponent that he's still quick on the feet, he's still light, and he can bob and weave out of those corners. Again, if he keeps the movement going and he boxes on the back foot, it would be very difficult for Ilnitsky to actually land that big shot. Ilnitsky's got to try and make Salby come forward and catch him with the punch over the top. So the, the weight he's added from Salby, if he's moving forward, he'll move up, walk onto the shot. But if Salby stays on that back foot, hits and moves, then it will be very difficult indeed for Elnitsky to land the big one. I'll tell you what, if they say professional boxing is a sports entertainment industry, stop, well, stop, Salvi, stop, stop. he is a pure entertainer. Oh. The crowd love it too, Richie. Yeah, he's, um, he's a class act, he really is. There's as many Ukrainian fans in the York Hall tonight as there are British supporters. And even the Ukrainians have enjoyed this display from Selby. He's not going to give up. Ivan Ilnitsky. He's taken a barrage of punches from Selby, but he keeps coming forward. Credit where it's due. You said it right at the beginning. The Ukrainians are a fit, strong team of boxers here tonight. Yeah. And they will be as strong in the fifth as they are in the first. Chris. Yeah, they are strong indeed. He's Chris. a typical example. Ilnitsky just keeps coming forward. And he's still confident he can land the big one. Good guard as well, the Ukraine. But he just hasn't got the skills, the talent, or the ability here against uh, Andrew Selby. You see, you've got to try and manoeuvre your opponent into a position where he can land that big shot, but Selby is not allowing that to happen. His movement on the back foot, side to side, far superior to his opponent. And it hasn't been a good round for Selby this round, let's be honest, but he's never been any real danger of being caught by the big one. Just needs to keep the concentration here, Selby. There's ten on the clock. Still wants to put on the show, hands behind the back. Ilnitsky has nothing to answer, Go. and there goes the bell. Oh, oh. Well, the Ukrainian Ottomans took the first two in great style, but Andrew Selby shows what a gifted boxer he is to pull one back for the Lionheart, surely. Yeah, Lee Pullen and Gary Hale in that corner there, they won't be pleased with him in that last round. He literally stood in defiance, didn't he, with his hands behind his back at the end of that round. But nevertheless, you have to admire the skills and the talent of this man. He boxes very well indeed in both Orthodox and Southpaw, and he was, he was a league above this guy tonight, but this fella's got the engine, we knew that, and he was looking to land just the single shot to maybe upset the odds here, but uh, there's only one winner, no doubt, it's Selby. Ladies and gentlemen, after five three-minute rounds of absorbing WSB action, here are the judges' score totals. They are all in full agreement by the same scores of 49 to 46 for the winner by way of unanimous decision, representing British Lionheart. Pulling the lead back to 2-1, Andrew Selby. Well, he keeps that under Your appreciation, please, for Ivan Elitsky. And uh, 